Uh, I just want to say aloha to all the, all the brothers from the um, 142 HSI um, Hawaii Stevedores. I love you guys. I can't wait to get home. Good on you. Thanks, buddy. Thank you, brother. Thanks, Thanks legend. Now, you might have missed that, but we've got Jack Rogers in the, in the red, 22-year-old Sydney Ferries, son of the, um, the great H, Rogers. Yeah, Hayden Rogers, that's right. And then Connor... Famous Maroubra family, mate. And Connor Barrett in the blue. He's from Fight Club Maroubra. Now, these, these two crossed paths on the dance floor recently at a dance party. Yeah, so, well, Connor's a member of the North Maroubra Border Riders, mate, the, the club that I was a president of there. There you go. Connor, he's a bit of a goer. A bit yep. of a string bone, actually. But oh, there goes Jack. Jack. Uh, Jack's unloading. Jack Rogers here. now. I'm oh, good mates with his dad, H, but his grandfather, Barry Rogers, is a Maruba legend, chaps. Oh, legend. Absolute legend. World champion, surf lifesaver over there. And, uh, won a famous event in South Africa. Come through the come through the whitewash from nowhere to come out and win that event. Yeah. yeah the late Barry Rogers. He was a real character of our area. He was. He sorely missed. And shout out to his... To his boys out there, yep. Nafe, Hayden, and uh, Bunch, who's a former Wharfie with us. Yeah, mate. yeah, shout out to you, Bunchy. Um, have to catch up soon, mate. It's been a while, but uh, your, your, your nephew's going all right here. They're, they're pretty similar styles, chaps. They're going all right, but I think uh, so far in this first round, young Jacko seems to have the edge. Young Jack seems to be able to tag a little bit easier than uh, Connor. Connor. Connor has the reach there, but nothing seems to be landing at the moment. I know he's an absolute goer. He loves the big waves, Connor, down there at Maroubra. All these mates will be watching online right now or unless they're inside the venue here at the beautiful Juniors Kingsford. Oh, a nice little, little left there. And thanks uh, from, for having us Connor. to the Juniors, Keith McCaw and the, and the board. Yep. Uh, for, a, for a famous event here, the seventh edition of War on the Wharves. We've got a few more interviews coming up. We've had plenty, haven't we? Yeah, we've, we're trying to just fit him in best we can. But He's a good bloke, Colin from Hawaii. Yeah, he is a top bloke. And we've got, Mick, we've got Mick Gibbo on. He said, say thanks to Marjorie. Well, we can't do that now, but thank you, Marjorie. He helped his, her mother transfer to the Shire. So well, he, helped his mother, he helped his, her mother. And Johnny Atherton, legend, he said, nice coverage, boys. Abby Elza. Abby, former Rabbitoh Abby, he's a uh, he's a new he's a new dad. He's sitting at home watching, and we yeah. got this. We had a photo sent through from um, from Nath Donato and the boys and girls over there in Vietnam, sitting there watching and listening to this live stream. Great photo. We'll share Nathan, that. Nathan Donato, hello, mate. Yeah, there he we is. We miss you, buddy. I wondered who had me number, and they're texting me. It was from a. <laughs> and they're taking a photo of Shannon on a bad angle there too. I mean, <laughs> Nathan, I mean. Um, and a shout out to Scott Singles. He said, "Great coverage, guys." Uh, yeah. He loves, he'd love to be at the juniors right now, watching it all. Um, As you said, chaps, turn your mic up, so just put it a bit closer to your mouth, chaps, I think, your mic. Here's another one. If that's all right. Um, yeah, so, yeah. That was a fairly even round. I think we're, we're going to give that to Jack. A few shout outs. Yeah. Naomi Kane's bringing up the lovely Naomi Kane. I'm going to give that one to Jack for sure, mate. What, what bout are we up to now? Um, Six or seven? This is bout number seven. At number um, seven. Yep, 22-year-old Con Jack. Connor's just going to have to come out and uh, just try and land something. Here. Nice little jab there. Yep. From Connor. There's Jack. He puts on another left hand again. Stands there, bounces on his feet there, Jack in the red. Mm. And certainly plenty of energy still in this fight, round number two, as opposed to Spinksy and Joshua. They sort of gassed out a little oh, bit there. Oh, nice left punch there. Nice Connor. left there, yeah. The left oh, one right I over got the him top. Again. Might have just missed a glancing blow. Yep, yep. He has got the reach, Connor. Yeah, he, he has. Can stay on the outside and just find his range. Just he, a bit he, of height. He might difference. be able to get back into this one. Yeah, that's correct. Try and square up this one and have a big uh, barnstorming finish for round number three. War in the War of Seven here. Your, your host here, Grant Chaps Chapel from DP World Pobotny. Wharfy for 23 years. And we've got Steve Crusher Maven <laughs> over here on the left. Wharfy for 16 years. And uh, what a good night it's been so far, Mavo. I think you're going to say crush a Cleal there, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> well, but, uh, he used to, he's, the, he's known as the man-child, Mavo. He used to run over people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just ask, juniors. just ask Jason Lang and um, Sean, Sean Winden. Sean Winden was hospitalised for three months after trying to tackle <laughs> Steve Maven. He told us when he was 12. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so back to the fights, and it's been a good one. They've both got good styles, chaps. They're, you wouldn't know these boys are amateurs. They're, 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 no. throwing at, uh, they're throwing them at will, and they're protecting themselves rather well. Yeah, they are. Nothing in this. They've both had a few fights, a few wins. So you can tell that they've got experience, these he's two boys. He's a little taller, Connor, a little thinner. Um, look, Jack's got a nice little duck. He's been able to evade the punch, that, that first jab, yep. which has helped him. He seems to be moving his head a fair bit, going to work on the body there, yeah. Jack. As he loads up with a right hand, slightly missed. Maybe hit yep. him in the ear there. Yep. Ducks down and comes up with another right hand again. That looks like his tactic. 
He seems to go down low, puts the left jab out, comes over the top of the right. Yep. That's a 10-second bell, that chaps, I think. That means they can just get, give it everything they've got for this last bit of the round. What do they got here? Yeah, well, I can't split this so far, chaps. Connor's it's thrown a right, Jack. Well, that one was pretty... Pretty even. Much in that. 10 10, I think we're going to give that, chaps. That's, well, a, that's an even round. I might have given Connor the nod there just to set up a grandstand finish here, Mabo, in uh, the seventh bout of a 12 bout card. The main event's coming up in, a, in an hour or two there. Yeah, well, Cannot that's, wait for Cam Dimmick. Well, that's going to be big. Cam Dimmick, he's, um, he holds two state novice titles. He's had nine fights for seven knockouts. And he's taken on a bloke who's had. Um, 30 Muay Thai fights and had 12 knockouts. So these two blokes are going to go hard. And I'll tell you what, the Kiwi, he is... We Mandela, asked Mandela Ali, he's a gun. He's, yeah. he's got a lot of experience in the ring in the Muay Thai. Yep. Uh, it's a different ball game, I guess, but don't yep. worry, he's got plenty of experience in the ring. Well, he's well-named, isn't he? Mandela Ali, I mean, they're two of the two icons of uh, the world. But uh, <laughs> yeah, well, it's <laughs> that's a, a sort of beside the point, I suppose. It's not, but, it's not a bad name, is it? Yeah. When it comes to boxing, yeah. So put your hands together for these two fighters as they go into round three. Connor opens up with that left jab yeah, again. Yeah, he scored with that, didn't he, chaps? As Jack will look to go to that little duck and overhand right again. Oh, a little left jab got through oh, there. He landed the left there again, Connor. Coming out swinging. Oh, the right. I think he feels like he got himself back in the contest in round number two after being, I think he was a bit out of it in round one, that's for sure. Don't hold the back of their head. Geez, they're not holding back here, chaps. This is the, I think this is the last round, is it, or the second one? one no, this is round three, mate. Round yeah. three, yes. This is it now. So I think it's three two-minute rounds, chaps, we can deduce from that. We've uh, seen some good fights here over the years, I think. Oh, we Brad have. Dunn, was, uh, from memory, was a good fight years ago. Yeah. They, they hardly, hardly blocked a punch. It was just... They went hell for leather. He only trained for a couple of weeks. Oh, chaps, we've seen some absolute belters here over the years. Pom Jules Parry. And Andrew Pom Roberts was a great fight oh, too. Oh, mate, he was. The guy he fought, he 130 just, kilo he was from he New took, York. He took some heavy blows and he just weathered the storm and come back, uh, Andrew Roberts. But Jules Parry was a classic one. Jules Parry getting knocked out. He was he was going all right and then he was just laying on his with his feet up, knocked out cold. He was. But the other ones like Steph Franks, the helicopter punches. He's just coming in, throwing them left, right and centre. And what about Steely and uh, Luke Montague in the crowd, chaps? Yeah, that, that was a good fight, that, that fight in the crowd. <laughs> Shout fight. out to you, um, uh, Glenn the Animal Steel. Yes. <laughs> and uh, Former Lukey Montague, he's a, he's a wharfie over there at Hutchinson. He is. We he might is. have to get a, a, a return bout in the ring yeah, between them two. Yeah. yeah. He's a martial arts expert there. Lukey Montague as Jack puts in an uppercut and another right hand. Yeah. It's Connor Barrett starts to tie up now. Looks like he's really trying to suck in that oxygen now. Connor Barrett throws a, a wily hook. He's getting puffed out as Jack starts to come at him. He's coming forward the whole time, Jack, isn't Jack's he? Jack's so come forward. Another left hand. Oh, now holding. Another one was Corey Hughes, chaps. That was a, that was a good fight. Legendary Corey Hughes. Yep. He just walked through the blows and got the points. 2004 so Premiership winning player. Yep. We've seen the some Bulldogs. great fights, and that's another oh, one there. Oh, I'd give that one to Jack Rogers, mate. Yep. I, I'd just give him the nod. I think he won that third round. There he is. <laughs> Brother of Nathan. CEO of South Sydney Rabbitohs to come up here. CEO? He's, he's been promoted. Yeah. <laughs> he's uh, he's not the CEO. That is Blake oh, Sully. He's still got the moves. Pretty good night out here at South, Shannon. Oh, fantastic. Uh, the union and Rabbitohs have a long history together. I remember lots of the Rabbitohs players supporting the union during the Patrick Strikes, and it's great to see the, the union members supporting South Cares. And South Care is such an integral part of the club. Oh, absolutely. They, they, they change people's lives. It's transformational, the programs they do, and really appreciative of all the support we've got from all the union members today. And we appreciate you being here tonight to present the medals. And we're going to get Buddy Gordon down here in a moment. We're going to have a video on South Cares as well, but I'm going to have to get the photo. I'll have to get the uh, result. And the winner tonight... Comes from the uh, red corner, Jack the Ripper oh, Rogers. Yes. Yeah, as we thought, chaps. Yeah, Jack Rogers probably got over the top in that third one. Certainly won the first one by a long way. But yeah. uh, I thought Connor really good display in the second round, but maybe. Yeah, yeah, he was. It Young Maribra boy. There wouldn't have been much in it, chaps. Probably, you know. So I'll just pop over here. There's Coogs over there well, in the ring. Yeah, legendary Coogs from the You're no stranger to the boxing, boxing ring, but you Former went the three rounds tonight. Right, right. You're uh, sucking in the big ones there. Pretty good encounter. 
Yeah, I just want a beer. <laughs> um, yeah, he's a good opponent. Just uh, thank you to him and his trainer and everyone that come out to support us. And plenty of support. You're down there at Sydney Ferry, so you throw on the ropes during the week and you throw on a few punches of a night. Is anybody you'd like to thank? I uh, just thank all the boys at the ferries. They're all in the crowd. They know who they are. Yeah, all the dwarfies, thank you. Well, you'll be the king down there at Circular Key tomorrow, I reckon, brother. So congratulations.